Welcome back, guys. On chain analysis. Thank you for being here. Thank you for checking out the channel. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you want notifications. If not, uh, ugats. So today, here we are. Uh, let me give a shout out to Boston Mass. Just want to say, what up? And I, I'm just super bullish on V Chain. I'm so bullish on V Chain. I had to create a, a YouTube channel. Just saying. So just because, you know, when I first started trading, I could not find anything about VeChain out there. I mean, very little information, what's going on with VeChain, who supports this project, you know? I mean, it looks bullish. I mean, it looks like it's gonna go places. I see it in the news, Walmart China, BMW, uh, agriculture, uh, Chinese government, I mean, huge, huge projects. I mean, they just launched the uh, futures on KuCoin. And let me tell you, man, VeChain, I'm very, very bullish on VeChain. So let's take a quick look what's going on in the charts. We got rising wedge, got a breakout, three cents, three and a half cents, pushing up hopefully four cents by the end of, end of the week. And, um, you know, I, I don't think that, I think this is really the beginning of a big move for VeChain. You know, the fundamentals are there. We've got a lot of adoption out there. We've got a huge community. Uh, I mean, they've just, you know, they're really methodical in their business model. Um, they spend more on development than they do on marketing, which to me, you know, it says a lot about the organization. It says a lot about this project. So, Let's take a little bit, let's take a little dive in. You decide for yourself, but you know, I, I'm just saying every time I look into this project and, and see what they're up to, uh, which is almost every day, but you know, big things, big things. So let's start with their uh, most recent financial report, just to get an idea of like where their, uh, where their tokens are being used and, and, and what's available out there. Uh, as of right now, the, to the total circulating supply, uh, 64 billion, uh, and, you know, and I know that keeps the price low and it's not a super pumper like some of these other coins that got, you know, 12 million coins. But, you know, when you got your sights on big, big things, you need that supply. You can't have, you can't have your coins going up to, you know, 50,000 a coin if, if you're going to actually use it for some practical business use. So 75% of their coins are on the market. Uh, we've got 25% are, are in soft lockup, uh, running their nodes. Uh, VeChain has got a very impressive staking um, wallet or, or process. You know, I, I stake my VeChain. I have been for a while. Uh, just let that Vivo kind of build up. Uh, Vivo is moving up there too. So it uh, doesn't hurt to collect that Vivo. Total circulating supply minus soft lockup. It's about 50%. So got about 43 billion out there uh, being traded. And I thought this was pretty impressive. So, you know, they use about 25% of their tokens for uh, business use. Um, you know, they're doing big things. I mean, those tokens are actually, um, you know, used in business practice. So uh, let's take a look at their expenditure over, uh, this is Q3 in 2020, by the way. So they spend about, just in Q3, they spend about 500,000 in research and development. Uh, they, you know, spent about 70,000 in business development. That's, you know, you think about where their priorities are. I mean, they're really looking for, uh, you know, they're really investing the time and the research uh, in, in developing this project. Uh, so this is not a short term pump and dump here. Uh, 20,000 on legal and then 60,000 on ecosystem development. Uh, you know, if you ever want some more information on this, vchain.org, I mean, you can, uh, 
uh, better performance, un un uncompromised security, and dual consensus model to dive deep into POA 2.0 algorithm. Uh, during the third quarter of 2020, the foundation saw more opportunities for high impact business applications in various industries with the partnership with uh, Grant Thornton Cypress. Um, that's the health network there and um, it's one of the world's largest professional services network of independent accounting and consulting member firms. eChain intends to pair blockchain technology with the global network of Grant Thornton Cypress clients. After becoming an official member of the China Animal Health and Food Safety Alliance as sole public block blockchain technology, eChain will be providing technical and infrastructural support over 130 enterprise and organization member council members. In the face of long-term impact of COVID-19 on the global economy, eChain together with BNV uh, jointly developed a blockchain-based risk evaluation platform named vTrust. This combines DNV GL's infection risk management methodology and track record to help businesses start managing COVID-19 risk factors. Uh, VChain started with uh, small to mid-scale hotels in China. And uh, in addition, the VChain teamed with uh, Travala.com, uh, the leading cryptocurrency friendly travel booking platform. So people in Asia are adopting this, you know, they're able to use v uh, VChain as a, as a currency. Uh, especially when booking trips and stuff like that. So we've got the Grant, the Grant Thornton contract there, Travala, uh, Animal Health and Food Safety Alliance. Um, you know, prior to this, I mean, there's a lot of projects. Take a look at the chain see what they're doing out there. I mean, Walmart China, BMW, uh, big, big things for VeChain. So, I mean, I'm not a salesman for VeChain, but I'm just saying, I'm bullish on, uh, on this on this project. So, so one of the biggest, most recent developments is the uh, the release of the um, Sync Two. So, Beachain is really trying to you know make a, a you know DAP adoption and DAP use a lot easier for both developers and people who are interested in using the DAPs. You know. I don't know if you've ever used DApps on Ethereum or any platform for that matter. I mean, they're a little complicated to use, you know? I mean, it's not the easiest. And especially if you're trying to use some of these DApps on like Ethereum, it could be pricey, very, very pricey. So check out the chain. They got their sync to, you know, rolling out for, you know, this project really is uh, targeted at massive DApps adoption. So let's take a look into this. The, um, DApps are still new in the market, which makes them difficult to use compared to web applications. It requires users to switch between certain device types and browsers to access them. And the users of these apps uh, may engage in cryptocurrency trading as well, making it even harder to use and manage. So, you know, for us who are in the crypto space, like, you know, we start to get used to technology and, and, and all that. And so it becomes like a little niche market, right? I mean, but getting new people to come in, new adopters to come in uh, to start to use the technology, I mean, it just looks alien, you know? I mean, I know when I first came into the space and I started like looking at dApps and like checking it out, I mean, it was like, what is this? You know, I mean, it just, it really needs some type of uh, better interfaces so that people can really engage in it and find some ways that they can use it without having to get cryptocurrency to, to pay for the services that they're using. Because, you know, managing cryptocurrency, it's an art. And, and you know, um, there's risks involved and people hear about hacking and all this and that. And so it just kind of makes it hard for people to get into the field. So VeChain is really focused on trying to overcome this. VeChain plan says it plans to make the system a little more straightforward and less demanding to use. This will sure, surely encourage more adoption, according to VeChain. The Sync2 digital wallet will work with vital protocols such as uh, VIP201 and VIP191 and will offer the connection that will enable massive DAP technology adoption. So, you know, VeChain says that it also integrates with, the, uh, with their uh, fee delegation protocols. This means that the users 
are not burdened with the cumbersome task of managing cryptocurrency to pay gas fees, but the DAP service providers will pay on behalf of the users. So, I mean, here's the thing, right? I mean, you got a product, you want to sell it. Uh, you're better off selling memberships to the DAP and then paying the fees so people can use the DAP rather than having them pay with cryptocurrency. I mean, it's brilliant. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just one small obstacle overcome to help people start engaging in the technology more. I mean, we know where we're going. I mean, we've just entered this phase of technological innovation. Uh, over the next 10 years, I mean, we can expect blockchain to really become integrated into our daily lives on the financial side, on the supply chain side. Um, and, you know, whereas a lot of cryptocurrencies are focused on the financials, VeChain really is focused on the business use case for cryptocurrency, you know, supply chain management, RFID tags. Um, I mean, they're just, they're just doing huge things behind the scene, not even really behind the scenes, but, you know, because they're out there in Asia and they've been, you know, a lot of their business applications are focused in China. Um, we don't hear about it as much, but let me tell you, if there was a project here working with Walmart or a project here working with BMW, uh, people would be a lot more bullish than they are here on VeChain. I hear people, you know, what is it, what has VeChain done for me lately, right? But VeChain, uh, we'll get to the technicals, but I mean, it, it's moving this week and I'm sure there's going to be a, a bunch of, you know, VeChain community folks coming out of the woodwork. I've been following VeChain for a long time. This is my number one long-term investment because, you know, we might be at three and a half cents today, but, you know, when we start getting up into one, two, three, five dollars, uh, then people will be talking about VeChain. So let's dive into some other stuff here. So in the technicals today, we've got a ri rising wedge. Uh, breakout. Um, let me see if I can put it on. Take a look at this here. V chain. So definitely looking bullish here. So, I mean, I'm sure I'll get comments about the way I'm drawing this, but whatever. You see the point. Breakout. Next target. Uh, four cents, four and a half cents. Uh, if we check out VeChain on, and compared to Bitcoin, looks like we're getting, just about getting ready for a breakout here, a little bounce. Uh, we jump up to the higher time frame. So been on a downward slope here with Bitcoin, no surprise, right? VeChain has been sort of accumulating over the last, you know, month or two, I mean, slowly moving up, but, you know, one step forward, two steps back. Uh, definitely looking for a bounce here uh, with respect to Bitcoin. Um, you know, just keep an eye on it. Good time to get in. Um, I'm diving in. I've been diving in, but I think right now is a really good time to uh, take the ride. Um so this is also big news today. I just wanted to let you guys know this. Um, KuCoin is one of the biggest exchanges out there in Singapore. Uh, VeChain is now uh, ha has futures on, on KuCoin. So VeChain price has endured a week long consolidation period without providing any clear signs of where it is headed next. But as VeChain trading will be open to a wider audience, a spike in buying pressure could see, see it rise by more than 40%. So that's what really what we're seeing now. KuCoin lists v VET futures. One of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges in Singapore, KuCoin, announced the launch of VeChain and Terra Luna uh, perpetual contracts on February 8th. Users will be able to trade these altcoins with up to 50% or 50 times leverage. Futures or perpetual contracts have been a go for uh, many cryptocurrency traders. The reason behind it is that these 
types of financial products allow users to maximize, maximize their profits. By using leverage, anyone can buy more contracts than they would otherwise be able to afford. Exchange listings usually cause the listed assets market value to increase. This market behavior, behavior is commonly known as the exchange effect, right? Um, and can be seen in popular exchanges like Coinbase, Binance, and others. So my question to buy, I mean, to Coinbase is, where's my VeChain? Where's my Cardano? Just saying. So VeChain prime for another rally. I mean, VeChain price seems to be consolidating in an ascending triangle, waiting for a spike in buying pressure followed by uh, following 150% bull run. Although the recent exchange effect helped VET rise considerably, it still needs to close above 35, uh, uh, three and a half cents to confirm a bullish breakout. Well, guess what? It broke and it confirmed the bullish breakout. So I'm bullish on VeChain. If you're bull bullish on VeChain, please hit the like button, support VeChain and support this channel if you want to. But just saying VeChain is uh, a project to keep an eye on. And in my next video, we'll be talking about ADA, uh, you know, ADA, Charles Ho Ho Hoskinson, I mean, he's the man, right? Um, but I had to talk about VeChain today just because super exciting, looking for, uh, you know, a great year for VeChain this year and in the years to come. I don't see a slowdown. At least the next five years, we can expect VeChain to do some really, really big things. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Until next time.